Hi, I'm Abhida Rashid and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to make a very, very special dish called the fish mango curry. I think anybody who wants to come to Kerala, the first liking to the northern part of Kerala is the fish mango curry. And let's try how to make fish mango curry. Making a fish curry is very different from region to region. Maybe I can say from house to house, everybody's fish curry is different. So being on Malabar coast, we are really big fish eaters. And uh, uh, people who eat fish in particular in my side of uh, uh, Malabar, where I am coming from is Kozi Khod in Kerala. Here the fish is so delicious, the fish caught here. I think they say it is because of the uh, salt content of the sea. Uh, there is some difference in the saline content in the water. And that is why the fish is very different. So whoever eats fish in this part of uh, Kerala will not eat fish anywhere else because they know the real taste of the fish here. And particularly, this is a dish which is commonly made in everybody's house. See, when it is mango season, we tend to go for mangoes, anything to make the curry sa. Making the curry sa is what is in this. See, when the mango season is on, then fish curries will have mango to sa the part. If the mango season is off, we will be using more of tomato or we are very used to using the tamarind. The Northern Kerala uses tamarind and the Southern Kerala uses more of kukum. So that is, that is the difference between the curries, what you taste in, in two parts of Kerala. Okay. And today the mangoes are really available. So I am using mango. And whenever you use mango also, make sure that how, how sour is your mango is. If it is too sour, put little. If it is not that sour, you can use more quantity. So I think I'm taking about 300 grams of uh, fish. So that is enough. Then the second thing is tomato. Tomato also gives uh, depth to the gravy. So adding about if the tomato is not there also, it's okay. But I like to use tomato. Tomato makes the gravy a little rich. Okay, and to spice it up, a few green chilies. We use chili powder also, but green chili gives its own taste to the curry. About two to three green chilies. When we add coconut, it will not be very spicy. The coconut will reduce the spice level. And if you like ginger, a small piece of ginger. Not everyone uses ginger in fish curry, but I normally use. Okay, and now we add in very little of turmeric powder, just to just a little bit of about a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, and then goes the the chili powder. Equal into this is a fish fry marinade. It is called, but it is really good for all your fish curries fries and all this gives a beautiful flavor these are many varieties of chili that uh, is blended together and a particular flavor is formed so if you have this if you if you have this you can use this otherwise you can use the normal chili powder okay enough to spice your curry i've already added a little bit of chili and some oh, about a teaspoon of uh, chili this powder Okay, and then we add in rock salt, fish and salt. You know, they are almost brother and sister, like, and see, okay. Now I add in some water, room temperature water, enough for the fish and the mango to cook, okay. Now you have to work with your fingers. Now the fingers work a lot in this fish curry. I don't know, my grandmother, my mother, everybody did this. And that's how I also started doing this. I don't know, it gives something to the curries. 
Now you blend it nicely with your uh, all the all the tomatoes. Everything gets blended into it. Squeeze it nicely. I don't like the tomatoes to to stand alone like that. You know, nobody they don't cook properly. Blend it well. This is where your hand plays in the taste. Okay. Let's leave this to cook until all the mangoes are really cooked. Fish needs less cooking time than mangoes and tomato. So let's cook. You can see the mangoes are really cooked. Yes, the mangoes are cooked. Now we will add in the coconut paste see this is just half a coconut uh, grated and just put in the mixy and i made it a very fine paste see like in kerala we are very sure about the paste we want it very very thin paste you know we don't like that uh, residue be seen in the curries so we need special mixies to grind this to paste in case you cannot have paste you can buy those uh, tetra pack or uh, the tinned uh, coconut which is available they are a little sweeter but if you add enough a little bit more of uh, chili powder or uh, one or two extra green chilies it can be compensated so instead of having the whole coconut you can have the paste form so this is when we add the coconut see that as i said there are various ways of uh, making the fish curry some people add everything even the coconut earlier and then add uh, the fish and all but in my method i cook the coconut and then add the fish so the, you got the correct yellow color this is the original recipe but when you go to commercial restaurants and all they might have given it a different uh, shape like uh, you cannot see all these pieces of uh, tomato and other things and all they really paste it or maybe i think uh, most of the restaurants they don't use this sort of uh, pasted coconut instead they use the powdered coconut that gives that a little difference to the curry but the originally what we in kerala at homes do is pasting the coconut this is a painful job but taking pains gives a better ingredient curry okay now once the coconut is added fish see we live near the fish we have lot of river fish we have lot of uh, sea fish but we always prefer more to sea fish so any fish which has good fat is the tastier when you make curries it's not that you have to buy some fish which is very expensive even the sardines any any fish any fish which is available will go into this curry so add as many pieces as you want for the curry this is about uh, 300 with the bone huh? i don't see you have to take the with take out the bone and all the all this bone head all that adds more flavor to curries people who eat with fork maybe they want it to be very clear without bones and all but eating with hands you can pull out the bones and eat it properly all taking out the bone just taking out the meat and uh, cooking i don't think it is a good thing so now i added enough fish let it cook the fish uh, uh, the coconut i have not added any oil yet yes we will do it at this point you check the sarness in case your mango is not sour enough what you could do is you can add a little bit of uh, tamarind so keep some tamarind always handy in case there is not the sourness is not correct you can add a little bit of this uh, what do you call emily emily or what the tamarind and then it gives a little more sourness but now my mango is very sour they are very dark green mangoes from that only you can make out that mango is really sour okay now fish needs very less time to get cooked 
in case you find your color a difference in the color you want a little more color maybe you can add it a little more of uh, the little more of haldi into this to give a better color and if the spice level also if you feel it is less you can add in chili powder at this stage also it's better to add early only but yeah it's okay now it's getting cooked but generally this uh, fish curry uh, tends to get very thick because of the coconut in it so you know it's better you you add it more water to it by the time you are going to serve it the water will uh, reduce or thicken up so let it cook for about 4 to 5 minutes till all the fish is really cooked meanwhile we have to do a tadka to the fish buying a fish is also very important like you know when you go to the fish market when you want to buy fish make sure they are fresh you can just check them on the gills the gills inside the gills it will be uh, not a black color a, a fresher part of the red color or maybe you can press the skin if your fingers don't go too deep it if if your, if your fingers go too deep it is not fresh fish if you if your fingers just bounce on it it means it is fresh and always clean your fish with rock salt if the sea fish is there please clean them with rock salt just give a handful of rock salt on the fish wash it nicely you can see all that blood residues everything going and then after the wash you can directly put it in the curry here there is no marination as such because it is the coconut gravy the coconut the coconut oil the coconut that is giving all the flavors to your fish and now the fish meanwhile the fish is getting ready we need to do a tadka in kerala most of the curries most meat any curry needs a tadka and we are very used with mustard or the spring, the small uh, sambar onion these are the two materials what we use for tadka tadka is just a flavoring empowering that curry with the more flavor slice it thin so that you can get a very good golden color when you fry it's not very time consuming to make a fish curry once your coconut if nowadays you get so good packaging of coconut grated coconut or maybe you get a tetra pack coconut milk which is thick enough all these things are available and maybe these things are more easier than what it, what it used to be when i was a child you know when i was a child i've never seen my people uh, doing the coconuts uh, in a mixer rather they were pounding it like you know morning the first job somebody starts is making the coconut like the whole day you need about one to two coconut the first coconut starts with the puttu then for the curry it's coconut coconut we love a lot of coconut and you know the one which is made on stone it tastes so good see this is now where we are going to oil, add oil i've used coconut oil and when you people don't like coconut oil i think you can go for other oil also but fish is really good with coconut oil it tastes the best with coconut oil okay i've taken about uh, two tablespoons of coconut oil to which i'm going to add uh, small sliced onion yes this is a there's lots of smell coming out from the coconut and the curry also smelling so good with good appetite you can eat it with rice it's too good with puttu 
or any paratha, puttu, all the basic breads you can use this fish curry. And let me tell you, like the serving this in the refrigerator, I think uh, normally the coconut <coughs> tends to go bad or a, a different taste occurs. So if, you, if at all you want to do for a party or something, don't add the coconut. Do the basic fish, the chilli, the mango, everything. Make it into a nice curry. Then add the fish and the coconut when, when you're going to consume it. That gives a better taste. Are the fish is getting cooked. See, you can see the fish is looking all cooked. Okay. The thickness of the gravy depends on what you're going to have it with, you know. In case uh, by mistake there is more water, somehow there is more water got into your curry, you can solve that problem by taking some more coconut, add a little bit of uh, boiled rice, the cooked rice. See, in this, uh, I'm cooking in a mud pot. See, mud pot is very good for fish uh, dishes. Like uh, you can see, see now I put the curry on off mode, but still it is bubbling. That means there is lots of heat resistance in this pot. And I'm using a coconut shell uh, spoon, which is, doesn't get heated on my hand. Even if I forget it keeping, after some time also I can hold it because it doesn't take the heat. This is bamboo and this is coconut shell. And maybe every day we are, we are scraping so much into our curries, you know. When it is a metal, there are chances of that metal to enter into the, into the dish, little by little. So rather, let's go natural in the way we can. Yes, my onions are going into the golden color which I wanted it to be. And now the coconut oil flavor is dominated by the onion flavor and here the curry leaves are placed on the curry and here goes in the golden fried onion with the coconut oil into the curry that's how the sizzling and the curry is ready yes the fish mango curry is ready this is a very typical style what I made. I, again and again I say it's very different from the restaurant style what you've already had. But this is the real flavor of the Malabari Kodi Kod and fish mango curry. This curry will be well uh, blended with the putu, the boiled, the, the Malabari, the Kerala rice, you know, the big ones. Normally people say the, that rice is too big. I ate it last year, it's still in my stomach. But these rices are nice, they coat well on this. Uh, they, the, that rice coats well on with this fish curry. This is a very favorite dish of the Malabaris here. And I think people who come from outside also normally loves this curry. And this is made in the real home style way how we do it at home. It's an everyday dish of a Malabari house. Please try doing it. And uh, let me know through your comments what you felt about my class, how I should improve myself or your queries regarding the curries. I would love to help you. And goodbye from Abhida Rashid. Until then, until the next video comes out.